Hey guys! Welcome to Addicted to Needles, episode 11. How are you? I am good. Weekly weather report. It is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. I am sweating my twat off. All my washing is on the line. I am adulting this week. My other half is outside working on his car, so if you can hear the noise, please ignore it. Let's just jump straight in. So finished objects. I have a finished object. Oh, I feel like it's been so long. <sighs> I finished my shawl. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, let's hold it the right way up. Look. So this is the Midtown Magic. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. It is by Bar Yarns. And I love it. Look at the yarn overs. Oh, look at them. Don't they look so cool? Oh, I really, really, really enjoyed this pattern, like a lot. The yarns. Hedgehog Fibers Granite is the gray and my contrasting color is Jelly Bean Yarns and the colorway is Shipwrecked. I, I love this shawl. It's very nice, you know, added to the pile of shawls that I'll never wear, but I do like this one. It was an easy make. Wasn't difficult at all. I haven't blocked it yet, hence all my ends are all over the place because it's quite small, like really small. So I'm hoping, cause I thought like on the picture and the pattern, it looked like it was quite wide. So I'm hoping if I block the shit out of it, then it'll be bigger and wider but yeah I love this panel oh I love that panel that was my favorite it was a bit of a bitch though it was like 40 million rows of yarn overs and knit two togethers but yeah I finished it I did don't you just love it I really like it and it's so squishy and so soft and I love it. And like, I finished it. And my other half was like, okay, you know, there's another shawl you'll never wear. And I was like, I know, but it's like a 30 quid shawl. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? You spend all that money on the beautiful yarn. And I don't know, I love making shawls. I didn't, but now I do. I love making them. I can't stop like fiddling with it and showing it and squishing it and oh, it's very nice. It is very nice. So that is my only finished object. I haven't done much knitting really, apart from the only whip that I have. I have a skirt that my other half made me and I wanna wear it to Wonderwall, which is next month, April 29th. It is a wool festival in both Wales. But I was like, I haven't really got, like, it's a high-waisted skirt, so I wanted like a, a cropped sweater to wear with it. And I was looking and I was looking and I didn't particularly wanna pay like six quid for a sweater that you're only gonna get half of. And I wanted to try wait the really <laughs> And I wanted to try waist shaping because I've never done waist shaping before. And I wanted something that will like come in a bit and positive ease and stuff like that. I don't understand any of it. The only other sweater I've ever knitted is the flax sweater and that has no shaping in it whatsoever. So I looked, I looked, I looked and I came across this pattern and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is called Cropped Sweater for Winter by Andy Satterland. So that is the sweater. Don't it look beautiful? Don't it look beautiful? <laughs> so this didn't have a pattern. It was like a web page. So I had to copy and paste all the bits off it. I've never done an Andy Satterland pattern before. She is a goddess and I love the 1950s silhouettes that she's got in her knits because obviously I stalked the fuck out of her. I wanted to give it a go and it's not in the round. Like some of it is in the round, 
and it's a contrasting colors but i didn't do a contrasting colors i just did it all in one color and i have flown through it because with this pattern it gives you pictures at the different sections of the sweater i started this beginning of the week i think no i'm lying i started this halfway through so it's been a week it's been a week and i'm on the ribbon on the body <laughs> so look look what i've done i have done all this i have a stitch marker to mark where i am where the front is not where i am so yeah i am on the ribbing yes i am so it was a really easy pattern really easy i was scared because you you knit the back panel then you do the straps then the front and then you join in the round for the body and i fucking love it i fucking love it and i have flown through it like I've really, really enjoyed this pattern. It's, it's so cool. It is really good. And I've really enjoyed it. Now the sleeves, I'm scared about the sleeves. I'm so scared because it's short rows and I've never done short rows before. So I can't wait for that. I find that this pattern challenges me and keeps me interested and there's not like rows and rows of stockinette. And I love the green, I really do. The yarn, it's an Aldi yarn. I have no shame in knitting with Aldi yarn. I, even though I've dipped my toe into the indie dyer world and I have a few skeins here and there, I am not fully committed to making an entire sweater because there is some meat on my bones and you're paying roughly 15 to 17 pounds a skein that may be five skeins. That is a lot of money to spend on a jumper. And considering that I hardly ever wear my knits, I am not there yet to make such a committed decision, you know? So I decided to use Aldi yarn and I'm okay with that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it is the So Crafty, the color work, the color work. The colourway is woodland and I, I just love the green. I absolutely love the green. I'm into greens lately. And yeah, it cost me like five pound for four balls. So I'm totally okay with that. And I love it. And it is so nice to knit on bigger needles because I do love my sock yarn, but this is a DK. And I think that's how it's flown so much. And I've, I've loved it. I did have to swatch and I'm so glad I did because I was going to do it in a size four and I was like yeah it'll fit me yeah it'll fit me so I swatched and I I think my stitches were right but my rows were wrong so I went up a size to a, a size five needle and this is fitted like the way it's meant to fit you know if I had done a size four it wouldn't have fitted me so I'm so glad that I went up a needle size and I swatched because I never swatch never and I love it and this is all I've knitted on that's it this is all I have knitted on and I fucking love it I really do so yeah just the five million rows of ribbon and then the sleeves and then you pick up for the neck and it is done it is done I love it and I think I really will wear it I think I will watch this space <laughs> is it for my knitting but i have been doing some sewing i know i know i am far from seamstress extraordinaire but i have tried to make a pencil skirt <laughs> a freaking pencil skirt and i made it like with elastic and everything. I fucking love it. Look at it. Oh, I will never use like knit fabric ever again. It was my first time and it slips off the machine because you can't pull it. 
you can't move it you can't do anything at all with it just in case it stretches and I hated the fabric I loved making the skirt but I also felt like it was a little bit too easy you know I felt it was a little bit too easy I didn't feel like the massive amount of accomplishment for like making my first garment by myself it was just like oh yeah I did it you know I did it I made a pencil skirt with elastic and yeah yeah I hemmed I did hem yes I did and yeah so as much as I am like pretty overjoyed with it I'm not like blown away like it's an amazing accomplishment or am I just being too hard on myself I don't know but I wasn't like oh my god I was just like yeah I made a pencil skirt yeah <laughs> so I did that and we went fabric shopping me and my other half because he's the sewist he knows how to sew I'm just getting into it he's taught me and so we went fabric shopping and oh look <laughs> now this fabric was 18.99 a meter yes it was a ridiculous amount of money so about half a meter and my lovely other half made me a makeup bag Yes, he did. Because I don't do zips. Zips scare me. I tried sewing a zip. And I will never sew a zip ever again. But yeah. I bought the fabric and he made the bag. And how cute is that? I'm like a massive Lord of the Rings fan. Like, massive. Even though it's like 20 years old. I don't care. I love Lord of the Rings. And yeah. Isn't he the cutest? I know, right? <laughs> yeah that's all my sewing i have started something else but i don't want to show it to you yet because i haven't finished it but i'm starting my very own first sewing pattern i'm very scared none of it makes sense to me so i will show you that next time and the last thing i want to show you is a bit of stash fattening so fred bear fibers i bought off them um, I did a sock head hat last week um, it was called firecracker and I loved the colorway and I follow them on Instagram of course and they they posted a photo of this yarn and I instantly bought it like it spoke to me in a way I've never known yarn to speak to me I don't know if that's ever happened to you but I had to have it it had to be mine and this is it look at it it just, it had to be mine. It had to be mine. Look at it. Oh. It is fucking beautiful. It is called Psychedelic. Psychedelic. And I love it. It spoke to me and I had to have it. It was £15. I think it was £2.10 delivery. Not ridiculous. The yarn is beautiful. I love the colourway. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it. But it just spoke to me. It was like, buy me, you know you want me. And I love it, it's beautiful. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Oh. and that's it guys that is it for this week i'm sorry it's a bit of a short one but thanks for watching guys uh like and subscribe if you would like to no pressure i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time